Good day, ladies and gentlemen, colleagues, and everyone following us over the internet, over our channel. This event, CEFA 2 2019, my name is Kevin Kuva. I'm the director of the Foundation for the Sustainable Development of the Americas. Here I'm with my colleague, Claudia Lorena Garcia. And we would like to warmly welcome you to the first online podcast format for this event, which we're organizing for you guys. We feel very honored to be hosting from Medellin, Colombia, the Botan Botanical Garden. As you can see, the scenario is very nice, very open. We we're trying to foster a proper environment for us to have interesting dis discussions, profound discussions, because this year we're going to have two hour sessions. Every session will have a specific language, language, either English or Spanish, and we'll also offer a conversation uh, that can go deep and go uh, into a little bit more detail than we have in the past. We want to offer enough time to each panelist so they can elaborate their ideas and share their experiences with us. We want to basically enrich this dialogue, this conversation, and the knowledge about the different subjects that we'll cover throughout these two days of event. Lorena, welcome. Would you like to welcome uh, our colleagues and perhaps our everyone looking at us over the internet? Thank you very much, Kevin. As Kevin mentioned, I'm Lorena Garcia. I work as a program manager for the Circular Economy Platform for the Americas, which is an initiative launched by the Foundation for the S Sustainable Development of the Americas. This is the third uh, version of this form, it has a different format. We're trying to lower our footprint. And uh, without having a, a physical audience, uh, we, we, we do that. And we can also reach more people throughout the American continent and also in different latitudes of the world. So it's very gratifying for us to be the first forum in the American continent to be launched in this format, to be able to have bigger outreach, to be able to take the message of what circular economy is and we can turn into a reality into each of our contexts. So I'm very happy to be here this morning with you and to welcome you all and welcome all the different speakers that are, will be joining us throughout the event from Brazil, Chile, United States. They will all enrich these discussions so that we can all build CEFA. CEFA is meant to build a circular continent and here we're building ideas that will eventually become action to achieve more sustainable societies in our continent. So it's very gratifying for me to be part of this noble cause. Thank you, Lorena. In our group, we call her Lorena because her, her name is actually Claudia. So Lore, she has been a member of her team, very valuable member of her team. And from the very beginning, uh, the launch of the Circular Economy Platform, we have worked hand in hand for the last three years. And we've managed to not only organize events like this one here, the CFA, which are, by the way, the, the letters in English for Circular Economy Forum for the Americas. But also, during these last three years, we also managed to raise awareness in our region and conduct multiple workshops where multiple colleagues from our platform have been able to present in different events and different types of forums their ideas and to be able to sow that seed and be able to inspire people from different backgrounds so that everyone knows about circular economy uh, and recognizes it as something very relevant and important for a region. I believe that we can say that not only us, but many other organizations work on behalf uh, of this purpose in the region of the Americas. The Americas for us means from Canada to down south Chile, 
I believe that uh, we've managed to achieve in these last few years to not only inspire, but also to convince many actors in the public, private sector, the academia, and the government to actually take action and launch programs. For example, the National Strategy for Circular Economy in Colombia. Yes, exactly. Let's say that circular economy needs to go beyond the theory and to talk about it. Besides that, we need to take action. So one of the premises that was inspired by one of the colleagues of our team, Ken Anson, was to ask ourselves, how do we implement it? And the national strategy of circular economy launched by the Colombian government this year is one of those steps to take action. It's a discussion, uh, a group work between multiple government ministries to start implementing a circular economy projects in Colombia. And also to find what are the barriers that are preventing us from doing that and start also recognizing our strengths for this to become a, a, a reality. So this is very exciting because it is the first country to launch uh, such a national government funded strategy and many other countries are getting inspired to do the same. So I think it's very exciting to have Colombia as one of the pioneers. And it's also a motivation for us to keep working hard, also to work with businesses as we have done in the past with multiple projects where we look at the reality and we try to find out how to be able to implement circular economy principles so that processes become sustainable and profitable for companies to be able to see multiple companies get interested and try to find business models that respect uh, particular economic principles. So this is a work that we've been doing for the last few years. There's a lot of work to be done still. And our main purpose with CEFA is to keep inspiring governments and companies to take action. That they recognize that circular economy is not only a high-level concept, and just leave it at that, but also to take it into action. Also, to recognize that in this linear economy system, how we can change it and how we can start rethinking and change our mindset in this sphere. And that's something that's important to realize. Now, moving. Moving on from what Lorena just mentioned, uh, from a philosophical standpoint of view, the circular economy uh, subject is very, very attractive. It's a lot of storytelling, but implementing is the real challenge. How to bring all those great ideas into reality, into something concrete. So I'm very excited that uh, in one of the sessions that we'll have during these two days of events, we'll have a colleague which will talk about furniture design. And this table that we're working from was completely inspired by cradle to cradle principles. So even during the event, it's quite a challenge for all of us, the organizers, not only to talk about it, but also to implement it and live circular economy. Also in the organization and the management of the event. And this is something that we've tried to do from the very beginning, to, to always try to measure our carbon footprint of each one of the forms and also monitor what happens with the materials that we use, how much organic material or inert uh, technical material is generated with the organization of each form and many other criteria that allows us to measure our own performance during the actual form right bringing into practice all these ideas that we talk about so I would like to complement that idea because CEFA has been evolving over time so in the first session we wanted to find uh, an, an inspirational place and we held it here in the Botanical Garden of Medellin people really liked it because we we're in contact with nature here surrounded by nature and you feel that connection with nature and you're inspired to take care of them and in that, in, that, in, in that session or in that version, we measured our carbon footprint and then we implemented things to lower our footprint. And then in the second version in Chile, we also did this, but we also started thinking about how to offer foods that also um, honor circular economy principles. 
And how can we also keep reducing our footprint to make it a zero emissions event, but also to you know leave a, a positive effect, leave a, a positive footprint behind. And now in this version, we've taken it a step further, making it uh, an online format to be able to reduce from the very design of the event, reduce our carbon footprint. So this has been a, an evolution uh, in how we conceive this event. And in the future uh, versions, we'll, we'll have a bigger challenge still to lower it even more. So we would like to thank all of the different sponsors, sponsors of CEFA, both this session and the previous sessions, especially the Area Metropolitana, Confama, Camel Hub as well, the Frica team, Trini, all the colleagues that, that are helping us with live stream today and podcast recording as well, and all the other colleagues and sponsors. Obviously, people from the platform of Circular Economy. And we, as representatives of the Foundation for Sustainable Development of the Americas, and each one of you listening to us, and all the panelists and moderators that will join us today and tomorrow. We'd like to thank them all for their time and the investments they've made to be able to join us today and to be able to share, share all the knowledge that jointly we've been able to construct. What's very interesting about this year's event is that the main topic will be designing a circular future together. That slogan was chosen to highlight things that are happening right now in this region. There are many challenges ahead of us development-wise, socio-economical conditions, conditions that are particular to each of the nations in the region, environmental issues. So the main subject of this year is uh, for it. We invited a number of individuals that uh, come from different uh, backgrounds, different work experiences, or different academic backgrounds as well, to be able to have this discussion with representatives from all areas of life, all walks of life, to be able to know a little bit more about each other. So there's this tendency where people basically work in their own sector, but don't see beyond that. So with this model, we want to learn from one another, from the different walks of life, to be able to enrich the discussion and the general knowledge. To be able to foster the transition to a circular economy worldwide as well. People from this region of the Americas, we also want to contribute to this process. So the idea of developing or designing the future together, as you have said, is not an isolated work. I mean, circular economy won't be a success because one company is doing it, because one person is doing it, because one government is doing it. It's a joint work. We need to shift a paradigm from a linear economy rooted in our culture and our livelihoods. So it's important for us to be able to have a common vision of where we want to go jointly together. And also, th the word design is very important because design is not only uh, focused on how do you develop a, pro a product, but also how are you going to design your environment? And in this case, design refers to our economic system. How we can, can we def define it so that it becomes regenerative and restorative as well? So all that creative capacity coming from different places will allow us to create new ideas and new insights for this new economy that we want to implement. So I believe that this slogan is very appropriate for CIFA 2019. And I believe that many experts will be joining us today, bringing different ideas and insights so that we can reach conclusions of how we're going to do this. That's another important thing. Every year, at the end of the event, we have a report that has become a, a flagship of the event, where we summarize the different uh, conclusions or 
And this has been very important because uh, it, it becomes a, a valuable tool of information. So in this exception, in this version of the event, we will also have a report and we'll summarize all of the ideas of how we can design a circular future together. So without further ado, we want to close this welcoming session. Basically, everyone will be able to find information about the forum in our website, www.cefa2019.com. There you will be able to find all the information about these forum and access to our live stream as well. You will also be able to find the agenda there. You will, be, you will see there that each session will be carried out in one specific language. We just started using Spanish. The next one will be in English and will be about what circular economy and why why is it valuable why is it meaningful for us we'll also try to communicate with colleagues from different parts of the world we have representatives from Europe from Asia and Africa as well also our colleagues from Citra which organized the World Circular Economy Forum which has been one of the main forums that brings together multiple like-minded people pushing an agenda of circular economy forward in the world. So we're going to take a two, three minute break and we're going to communicate with our colleagues abroad and we'll continue. Thank you very much and please everyone enjoy the event. Lorena, yeah, let's try to enjoy this conversation. Yeah, let's enjoy this online version of CEFA 2019. Thank you. See you in a bit.